Uh, so, what I'm going to do is, for oak, put there, put there, put there, put there, put there, put there, put there. It's like every other one is an oak tree. And I don't want uh, any like right in the pathway of when I come up. I'm fairly certain these should be able to grow underground. I'm I'm pretty certain. So let's put there, 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 there. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I, oh, I, uh, I know that the trees will grow, the leaves will grow and everything, and that will make a lot of shade. <clears throat> so at least this way, it'll put uh, light between everything. Oh, I don't need that. So, it's less likely to have the monsters spawn. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is, I don't have any cobblestone. I was going to actually put the dirt underneath the torches as cobblestone. But I don't need to. And I should be good. Okay. So now, I'll take this, and I will put there, 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 there. Oops. And that's it. Because then I had a wall. So, uh, put those two there. Okay. Now, these should be able to grow. I will leave them alone for a while. Uh, I actually need one more there, just in case. Um, but yeah, I'll leave them alone, see if they grow or not. Um, they should. I hope they do. And actually, some grass might start to grow too, because of the torches. So that would be nice. And then maybe uh, actual, like, friendly mobs would spawn. Let me move this and move this and this actually just because I don't like uh, the fact that it might fall off. So this one... Hmm... I don't think I need this one. I think I can put this one outside. And I love the way that it looks on the map. Like, you can see the difference in color and everything. That's really cool, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to have to dig down. And I'll have it for this height. So I don't have to go too far down. But I do want to go down a little more just to make it so uh, I can get to my animals in a nice and easy fashion. So I'll leave it at this height, like, uh, or this depth, I mean. So I'll start digging outwards. And then I will put my torch there instead of there. That way I can break that. And this is the height that I will have it. So, now I am going to be able to have my trees up top. And my animals below. So, break this. So, I think I like what I've done so far. And there goes my pickaxe. So... Um, pretty much I'm going to light this up just in case. I know I didn't need to, but I just wanted to be safe. Yep, okay, they can definitely grow, and I never finished, uh, wait a second, wait a second, 
Those are the screwed up blocks. <gasps> they showed up. What? They showed up. God dang it. Now I have to go, like, get a pickaxe. That way I can chop those down. God dang it, man. Why do you have to make my life difficult? I'm also going to just put that there. Because it's annoying just having that there. I don't know. I'm OCD um, to an extent. I mean, everyone is, but like with me, it's uh, a little different. It's not like I have OCD. It's just that in games or something where I'm making stuff, I just feel like it needs to be not like that. Not floating all around the area and stuff. Not... Uh, not letting chickens out of the pen. Um, not freezing up while I'm trying to talk about chickens getting out of the pen. But I got a few chickens. So, okay, let's uh, kill you because you're not supposed to even be out. Take you. Kill you. Okay, now egg. No chicken. I think that's it for uh, who got out should be good okay so <clears throat> I need two of those oops oops okay so I'm going to put my sapling here um <clears throat> I need cobblestone and my iron okay so I need there Oops, I didn't mean to put that there. Okay, now let's make some more extended pickaxes. Okay. Uh, oops, now let's put you away. You go there. And now I should be good with extended pickaxes. So I'm going to actually, really, I'm going to actually put... Uh, two of them there, and then have that there. Um, I want this egg taken care of. That's it. Okay. So I'll come back over here. Put my feather away. Uh, I'll get all this sugar cane. And I think that's it for sugar cane. Now I'll take this. Because I mean, I still have my farms up here for now, so I can at least still get food while making my other areas. And like those chickens are so annoying. I don't know how I can manage to sleep with them there. So I'm so glad I'm making a farm. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I made it so weird looking with my carrots, but I did. Anyway, um, carrot, carrot, carrot. Okay, so now I'm good with that. I have 19 carrots. I can put my carrots there, put my wheat there, put my sugar cane there, put my seeds there. And now I can go down and break that stupid stone that just decided to show up randomly because the trees grew. Now, I don't understand why it decided to sh just show up, but apparently the glitch has ended to the extent of I can jump and not have to worry about anything. Because I did not get stuck, I did not freak out, I didn't do anything when I just jumped to get to the top. Now, I'm fairly certain those will not jump up. They will not. Okay, so the glitch is done. That is just weird. Hold on one second. That is also another glitchy area. Or it was. That's the one that I tried to dodge when I was uh, digging originally to get over here. Um, this is so much that I think this is why it didn't actually break my pickaxe. Oh god, that scared me. Just suddenly leaves in my face. Jesus, man. Um, we'll definitely need to bring an axe down. 
My cat is meowing outside of my door. I don't like it when it's like this. Because I feel the need to break these just to make it so uh, the other trees can grow. At least somewhat. My cat is clawing my door now. And it's my other cat. Not the one that's sleeping on my bed, obviously. But it's a completely different cat. His name is Nero. He's an annoying little bugger. Just because he always needs to have your attention. If he can't get it, he will claw at the furniture. If he can't claw at the furniture, he will claw on your leg. That is how he is. That is how he has not always been, actually. He was never like that before. Uh, it's more recent. And he also loves to sleep on your laptop if you are using it. I found that out. And uh, he used to turn off my old laptop by doing that. So that was fun. Um... Okay, let's do this. I don't think I'm going to make it as wide and big as the one above. I don't need to. There is no need for it. Uh, I'm just going to have a few different uh, like little areas that I'm going to use to fornicate uh, different animals with each other. Make them fornicate. And, yeah. Um, however, there was coal on my pathway over here. So I do kind of want to get that. Just because it's coal, and I mean, you never can have too much coal. There's also iron. So, okay, hold on, let me go over two more. Just so I can get some iron. I should also try checking my phone once in a while. Anyway. Um, yes, because I had five new text messages. Uh, oh well. I guess uh, I'll just keep mining. Is that it? Nope. Yep. Nope. There we go. Okay, put that there, put that there, and mine. My bad. <whistles> it was dark for a second. It looked like mobs were going to spawn. Sorry, I was really quiet. I forgot what I was thinking about, but I was thinking about something. Uh, there was something on my mind. So, I sometimes do that. Oh my god, my cat. Oh boy. Uh, my... Hold on one second, I'll be right. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My, uh... I pressed the wrong button. The cat that had been originally laying on my bed and sleeping suddenly got up and hissed at nothing and then started clawing on my door. So, I had to let her out. Her name is Maggie. She usually sleeps on my bed. Nero uh, is the one who usually just annoys me during a video. So, yeah. Anyway, okay, going to block that up. <clears throat> um, oh, forgot I have to mine you. Why do I keep using the wrong pickaxe? Like, I don't know, never mind, whatever. Oh, I missed. Like, I'll go to the uh, closest one. So I started using this one instead of this one. And now the other one's damaged. When I don't want it to be yet. It doesn't really matter, but... I mean, still. And by the way, I never really understood the concept of uh, putting two different... Or, yeah, two of the same type of... Uh, <gasps> excuse me, item on a crafting bench and then fixing it that way. Because if you have one that is damaged and another one that is damaged, uh, but say one of them is like almost full and the other one is almost full too, and you put them together, you don't like get double the uses 
I don't think. That's not how it works, is it? Because if it is, then uh, I'll start doing it. But if it isn't, and it's just that it's a waste, then why do it, right? Okay. Now that we've talked about that subject, I'm going to keep on mining. Mining, 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 mining. Anyway. Okay. And now we have light. Thank the Lord for the light. I don't even know why I put that one down there, but oh well. And I'm partway over, uh, like I'm almost at the end of where the top one is. But I'm not going over quite as far. I think it's another three or four blocks over. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. How many trees have grown? Quite a few. Quite a few. Hold on. Let me break Oops, these. And now, let me know also if, uh, if me breaking these makes it so it has less chance, like, less chances to drop saplings and apples, because I know those can definitely help me, especially when I am trying to replant trees. Um, those four grew perfectly, actually. Anyway. Uh, I just do that, that way I can get more wood, but, I mean, if there's a, a downside to breaking it with my fist, then please tell me, because I don't know, I don't, I really don't play Minecraft as much as, uh, most people, honestly, I haven't really played enough to know everything about it, like, I don't know all the statistics or anything, um, Oops. But I do play enough to know certain things and not enough to know others. It's just kind of the way it works for me. Same with Dark Souls. I played enough to know how to get the, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, was it the Draco sword? I don't know. Something. Some awesome sword. Uh, by shooting the dragon's tail and making it blow up, but I don't know how to beat the game. So that's, uh, I still have not beaten the game, which I probably should do. I will kind of want to record it and put it on my channel, but I know that I'm horrible and, uh, like I get so pissed at the game so quickly. It just like, ah, no, 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 thank you, thank you. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't letting me place them down, and then it let me place them down, but still. Anyway, at least now I have some more coal. Because that's what everybody needs, more coal. Oh, mining. I mean, I know it's called Minecraft, but, I mean, it takes so long to mine everything. It'd be one thing if I was going exploring, but I'm just sitting here mining, trying to make it so I can uh, make an underground area to use for my advantage. Which, I mean, that's good, but, I mean, it's got to be boring to watch. Because it's literally just me sitting here mining and mining and mining. There's no end. There are no mobs to fight. There's no PvP going on, which I wish I could, but I don't know how to mod a server, so someone please tell me. I want to create my own Minecraft server and mod it, that way uh, Ashley and I can play together and have it be modded. But I don't know how, because I've tried before and it didn't work. It didn't work the way it said it was going to. I followed all the instructions and everything, but no... Um, anyway, so, how's your day going? Sounds pretty delightful, actually. Sounds wonderful. Wonderbar baloney. 
I don't like bologna. I've never really been a big fan of bologna. Completely random.